everyone, and welcome to the Unfiltered Gentlemen. No matter how you take your hooch, we've got something ice cold and on tap. Now, serving it to you straight and unfiltered, here are Greg, Scott and Dan. Oh, yeah. Welcome in, one and all. Yes. To the New Year's edition of the Unfiltered Gentlemen. We hope that uh, you're as happy as we are that 2016's over. Yes. What a shit year it's been if uh, you're a fan of celebrities of any sort. <laughs> They've all died. <laughs> all the good ones. Yeah. Wow, Dan, you sound funny. I'm Greg. That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's Scott. <laughs> hey, now. Yeah, and uh, that's not Dan. That's the Dan of the Greg Scott Dan. <laughs> yes. Happy New Year. Boopy doop. By the way. Yeah. My uh, ball's dropping already. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> You're a few days early, but. Yeah, yeah. well. <laughs> you know, you know, yeah, Dan is really sick. Yeah. Uh, Dan, once again, Man. sick this week. Sick again. He must have HIV. <laughs> Probably have. <laughs> yeah. I, I heard he was with magic. Oh. So there you go. Wow. That's, uh, that's oh, important. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Maybe he contracted something from hanging out with those Raiders people. Yeah, probably. Yeah, that'll happen. Like just breathing jail on time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He contracted jail yeah. time. And hepatitis. <laughs> yeah. Don't share needles, everybody. Don't share oh, needles. So. Anyways, Mike was nice enough to come back for one more week. Fill in for the danster. That's right. I wanted to get this mystery beer we're going to be doing. Oh, later. we got some beer science to talk right. about. I am so excited. Uh, before we get there, I should tell everybody our burp word of the week. I guess more of a phrase, old Lang Syne. Ah. We fucking killed it last, last week. Last week, man, we were yeah. hot. <laughs> we were on a log, a roll. We were on a roll <laughs> with uh, Yule Log. And, yeah. uh, this week, it's old Lang Syne. What is that? Fitting. It's the song that people sing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the New Year's song. Yeah, it yeah. means okay. uh, old Lang Syne. I've never seen like. it written out. That's why I'm like, hey. oh. Wow. You the music guy? Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. poser. Yeah, true. Uh, anyway, so we got some uh, beer science to get to. We have the beer girl coming up. Of course, we have chick of the week. We got some beer news to talk about. A tales from Uber <laughs> and so much more. Uh, I think before we get too far into things, though, we should start off with our very favorite and, and very easy on the eyes, uh, beer girl. What's this? A bra drinking beer must be a she devil. Hello everyone. So the beer that I picked for this week didn't really give me a choice. It's called Hollidale, which has my name in it, and it's a holiday Uh, beer, uh, and it's from Berkshire Brewing Company, which is right down the road from my house, so I was really excited to try this. And it was kind of an ordeal for me to get this. I went and bought it, and somehow, in that whole entire process of somebody bottling that beer, putting it on the shelf, me choosing it, me bringing it up to the counter, none of us noticed that the bottle was only half full. What? Mm. Um, So I ended up going back out to get another one. Luckily, it's it's easy to find, at least in this area. I found a bunch of empty bottles. Hollandale is a beer that BBC (laughs) brings out every year around the holidays, and it's usually a barley wine. This year, it's classified as an imperial IPA, which is interesting. It was brewed with gooseberries, and it is 8.9 ABV, 36 IBU. It's a nice reddish gold color, and I have a cold right now, so I'm going to be honest with you. I Wait, <laughs> can't so smell anything, so I cannot report mm. on the aroma. She but it might be again. nice. <laughs> it might not be. We'll never know. More of a man than man. But I can still taste. And this beer, I think it might just be in my head, but it tastes like a little bit like barley wine to me. But I think it's just because it's what I've come to expect from the Hollowdale. And I do taste that slight sour bite of the gooseberries. So all in all, I'm not raving about the beer, but I'm not complaining. It's not a bad beer. The holidays up to New Year's is one of my favorite beer drinking times. I think there's just so much out there to try, and it's festive, and you have an excuse to drink, so it's perfect. The 2016 Holiday isn't on Beer Advocate. It isn't untapped, though. It has an average of, like, 3.65 bottle caps. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and agree with that, with that number. All right, well, I hope everyone had a really great holiday and have a beautiful New Year's, and we'll see you next year. All right. Yeah. You know, there's something about uh, chicks with colds that makes their voice raspy <laughs> and very uh, easy to listen to. <laughs> I don't want to get, like, creepy about it or anything, but... Uh, Too late. 
She has a, like an a, like a, a an oddly clear voice in a like weird way. Like things in the background are muffled, but her voice comes out clear to anyways. It's like an interesting thing that goes on with her recordings. Okay. Mm. Well, you know what I mean. As a, as a producer, you know, like yeah. to like have that much muffle, but she's coming out clear. Like it's not it's not screwing up how mm. she sounds. It sounds like there's a fire in the background. There's yeah, a couple almost, of cracklings. Like, yeah. Maybe there. Maybe it's you know. Hey, she put on, on the, the Yule log. <laughs> She does live on the East Coast where it snows. Very likely could be a fire going on. Yeah, that's true. Now. Bonfires going. Yeah, or, or fire. Or just fire. <laughs> right. right. Like, or the house is burning down. <laughs> 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 I, got, I, gotta get, yeah. I gotta get this segment in, guys, right. before the house burns down. Down the house! <laughs> I have to finish! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we're so weird. Uh, we're just excited for beer science. So once again, uh, follow Dale on Instagram. It's the Beer Girl. Same with Facebook and Twitter. It's the Beer Girl. You can also find her blog. It's the Beer Girl. Blogspot. Uh, I know we're so a that beer was Holla Beer Girl. <laughs> Holla Dale. Oh, okay. <laughs> Holla Beer Girl is a Gwen Stefani song. <laughs> I ain't no holla beer girl. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be one of those shows, everybody. When's Dan coming back? <laughs> uh, and it's it's beergirl.blogspot.com. I know it's a couple days past Christmas, but uh, if you need to buy somebody a gift, she's got some cool beer gifts. Mm. Festivus is whenever you want it to be. It's for the so, holiday for the rest of us. <laughs> that's right. Celebrate it by sending her something. Absolutely. All right. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get to the important stuff. Yes. Oops. Let me uh, break from a it. bottle from a can. Why don't people understand my inebriation? Mike's ranting and raving about the production value. Sorry, I can like with headphones on. This song is very impressive. It is right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, stereo. So I finally found it. We're just a bunch of monkeys in here. <laughs> <laughs> I finally found Luponic Distortion number four. Yeah. Yes. So excited for ha. this. Eat it, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Chewy>. <laughs> Dan is missing two great weeks of beer tasting. Some great beer get? tasting. Yeah. Boop boop. But don't. <laughs> Uh, anyways, we have one through three. Um, I don't think we need to describe one through three. We've done that already on the show, except for me. But you know, do you want? Would you like to describe them? I think I've tried three, and it's mm. very good. That's how I describe it. Oh, well, have you Excellent. had two before? Never two or oh, one. This is, actually, this is great yeah, because yeah, yeah. two is our favorite. Okay, collectively so, here yes. on the show, in- including Mr. Boo Boo Video. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, uh, so I uh, don't worry. And I, I think didn't the fans vote? And on most of them, were I, I think two, two was yeah. the win- one or two. I think it was two. I, I know two. one got a quite a bit of votes on Twitter. It might have been one on Twitter. Yeah, I saw the retweets. Now I'm confused. It's remember. been at least three yeah, days. I had a few beers uh, since then. Yeah, I old lang syne. Uh, old lang syne. I know. Anyway, so uh, come on. I'm gonna I'm gonna run down the list here. I'm gonna drink a little bit of one. Everybody, feel free to follow. See. Mm-hmm. Un. Exact. Mmm. Nice. Yep, one's good, as always. I've been saving these in my cupboard mm. for beer science. One's my favorite so far. <laughs> yeah, one's <laughs> off to an early lead. <laughs> uh, we're about to take a number two. Here's my Yule Rub. Oh, yeah. Mm. Good old number two. Mmm. Nothing beats a good number two. Oh, man. The hops definitely went up with number two Mm -hmm. from number one. Yeah, it's a little crisper. Yeah. A little brighter, if you will, Mm -hmm. if that makes sense. All right, I'm going to move on to number three. Which is one I'm familiar with. I've drank a lot of this lately. Mm -hmm. Me too, actually. All the bars have it. Yeah, next to next number two, it is a little less crisp. Right. Yes. Yeah. Now It's like you step down a step. Yeah, I see Mm -hmm. see what you guys are talking about. I feel like threes between one and two, mm-hmm. as far as yeah. like crispiness goes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They're all pretty darn close. And they're all delicious. They all have like a, a same, a similar base to them. Well, yeah. obviously because they're the same beer, but still. Ah. And here goes number four. Number four down the old hatch. Mmm. Oh, this one's tropical. Yes. Mm. See, this one's slightly different. I feel like this one took a left turn. Yeah, like like because it's so much different than the others, it almost like 
is getting me to want it more. Mm. You know what I mean? Oh, little but I don't know if that's because legs. I didn't cleanse my palate. Oh, oh, damn it. Almost. Oh, almost. Two thirds. Nice. But I also don't know if that's because I just haven't cleansed my palate in this one. Here's what I always do when I don't have something to cleanse with. I always take a, a sip of the new one and I don't judge it. And I take a second sip and okay. that's what I base well, it on. Well, I did the second one. And, and, so and you can cool. also, this is a, a real thing that tasters do. You can lick your arm. Mm-hmm. Lick, lick, mm-hmm. Your, lick your wrist there. Hold on. I got to... I gotta do two and four tests real quick. That's here. what I'm gonna do because this uh, they're very different. Or if you if you want something to lick, <laughs> here, <laughs> right over here. Tastes like my arm. <laughs> it's got skin on it. Oh, okay, a little saltier. <laughs> Same texture. <laughs> right, I'm going back to four here. I've made my decision. Have you? I have. All right. What is your decision? I'm sticking with two. Are you? Yes, All I right. am. I just had four. I'm licking some arm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So that's what they call it these days? Mm-hmm. I'm going four. Okay. It's code. Number two, <laughs> back to back with it, is a little citrusy now. Or number four, <clears throat> unless that's just my palate being weird right now. But number four, I like the hop, and it te- seems a little more hoppy to me. You think number four is hoppier? Let's At least, see. I don't know if it's my palate right now after drinking several other beers before this. Mm-hmm. But it, it's, it's giving what, me you've a been sh- drinking? Yeah. This is a hard one to judge because two and four are so different. They are. Like one, two, and three, they're all kind of very similar. Yeah, they're right in, right in range with each other. One more sip of two. Yeah, I just went two to four, and still I, I still got to stay with two. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Back to four. It was a great pod. Yeah, I can't and wait for twenty to come out. Mm-hmm. If you look at the uh, <laughs> the actual beer too. Four is less cloudy than the rest of the beers. It is. You're right. It's a little cleaner. I think that's what I like. I think I like that crispness to it. It it seems like the taste is sharper to me than the others. The others are blended very well. Yeah. I, too, have made a decision. Drum roll. Number two. (laughs) Two? I think Sticking I, with two. Here's here's what I identify the difference between number two and number four. Other than the fact they actually have different tastes, one, two, and three have very similar tastes. Number mm-hmm. four, like I said, kind of takes that left turn. Uh, the thing I like about number two, I feel it has a, a little more bitterness to it, mm-hmm. and it's a little sharper. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think number four is a great beer if you're looking for a little less of that, and, it, and if you like the tropical notes on your IPA. Oh, now I'm burping like crazy. It reminds me of... Um, Double Trunk from the Dudes. We had it in here a few months ago. Probably don't remember it because it happened before yesterday. Oh, well, yeah. Um, it has that tropical note to it, which I really enjoy in a beer, especially in an IPA when I'm when I'm not looking for something crazy hoppy. That tropical note kind of tones it down a little bit, and that's really nice. But uh, when I'm looking for an IPA, number two is the way to go, I think. Mike's uh, giving it one more. I'm giving it a full around real quick. Mm, a reach around. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. Mm-hmm. Here, wanna lick my arm again? <laughs> <laughs> Zip. <laughs> Let's do this. He's going. He's going. He's sipping. He looks very scientific. I think what it's coming down to is because it's so much different. You know, in a different situation, mm-hmm. I think I'd go with number two. Mm-hmm. As if, if I'm going to prefer to grab a beer, it'd be number two. Okay. But in this situation where I'm drinking them all back to back, because number four tastes so different and it's cutting through differently. I think I like four in this situation. Your tongue is saying, this is a nice change of pace. Mm -hmm. I see what you're saying. (laughs) Like, ah, this is different. And I think that's why I like it. However. I can dig it. Mm -hmm. I like the smoothness of number two more. I think I would get tired of number four faster than number two. Hmm. You know what I mean? (laughs) You know how some beers like are really good when when you first. I think people are still following along. (laughs) Some beers to me, like when I first start drinking it. Is really good, and then the more mm. I drink, I'm like, eh, okay, I'm getting bored. That clicking yeah. noise is people turning. <laughs> <laughs> I think number two to me would be the beer I could drink all night long. Okay, so I guess number two overall, but number four in this context. I would say that number four is a little smoother, mm-hmm. uh, a little uh, easier on the palate. Mm-hmm. But if you're someone like myself, or especially you know Dan, really likes those hoppy IPAs. Yeah, uh, number two is still the way to go. Yeah, so. Uh, Interesting, and and Elvia uh, told me that number two is still her favorite. She uh-huh. number four, so that's good science, fellas. Uh, yes, it was. Oh, 
Oh, he's so old. He's getting yeah. old. Is, this is why he's not on the show. Yeah. yeah. Good science, yeah. earlier. Good. Go, go sit on the bench, young man. Yeah. Good session of beer science. You know, at least I gave a different perspective. Over Have a seat, yeah. Osweiler. <laughs> 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 We're looking for the macho man. <laughs> <laughs> is that a throwback to Brock being the first real burp word? Brock. Was that the first burp word? Oh, mm-hmm. Brock Lesnar back oh, in the, the uh, previous the show. show. <laughs> 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 We talked about that last week. We don't need to talk about it again. Um, all right. So we'll move on to some uh, crotch talk. Have a grievance to share? It's time for a crotch talk. Uh, not much of a grievance. I am uh, about to undertake a trip down to Beer Mecca, a.k.a. San Diego. Mm. And I just, you know, I, I know what beers to have. I mean, obviously there's Stone and there's, you know, Carl Strauss and there's Port and mm-hmm. uh Pizza, uh, pizza port. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and Lost Abbey, and all these things. Isn't that a restaurant in Disneyland? Lost Abbey Pizza Port. Oh, p- <laughs> <laughs> not quite. <laughs> Close. Uh, you know, uh, L. Smith. All these great modern times. Oh God damn, I love mo- love modern times. Modern times is very good. Mega Black House, my favorite. Anyways, I know that there's all these great breweries down there. I want some of your suggestions. Uh, you, the listeners that love beer. So uh, if you could hit up the unfiltered Facebook, unfiltered gentlemen, or the unfiltered uh, Twitter at unfiltered gents or anything, uh, please let me know of any uh, sweet breweries you think I should check out. Maybe ones that aren't quite so known that I may may potentially not have heard of. I'm very excited to go back to Mission and see if they sell that peanut butter beer that I've been talking about since oh. the last time I was there. If they do, I'm bringing a growler you, back. Yeah, like if you can bring me some, I'll pay you. I got to have some of that. Wow, that's kind of a little gotta, dirty. Gotta have me some of that peanut butter. <laughs> gotta have Marty. Marty. <laughs> Marty. <laughs> uh, anyway, so yes, uh, going to San Diego. Please give me your tips. Just the tip. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just a tip, Mike. Do not respond. <laughs> uh, beer tips. Anyways, uh, old timey word yeah. of the week. Still pretty stiff. <laughs> <laughs> not after a few too many beers. Uh, old timey word of the week is to give someone the wind. <laughs> is that a fart? <laughs> <laughs> That's what it sounds like. <laughs> or a, a missed punch? <laughs> <laughs> I gave that guy the wind. <laughs> it I means... I blew a burp right in his face. <laughs> it means to jilt a suitor. Mm-hmm. Oh. 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 Yes. I left him in the dust. Yes. Oh, apparently Siri thinks I was talking to her. <laughs> <laughs> she just popped is up. Is she Australian still? Uh, yes, she is. Of course. Hot, <laughs> as, hot as fuck. Uh, to jilt a suitor. So to give someone the wind. So uh, I got drunk and asked this girl out, and then I found her Facebook page to see what she really looked like. I had to give her the wind. <laughs> That was very rude. <laughs> it's such a weird... It's bringing in Facebook, a modern thing, into the old-timey word. What's wrong with that, pal? I don't, there's <laughs> nothing wrong with it. I, I, I should have said MySpace. Yes. That would have been there more timely. There we go. The Why, Facebook's been around for 100 years. Yes. I remember back in the day when I was on MySpace. <laughs> uh, anyways, all right, let's move on to more important things. Ready your smelling salts. It's time for our favorite Philly. Yes, our uh, favorite Philly, a.k.a. Chick of the Week. Her name is, or she goes by, Kitty Craft. Mm. You can find her on Instagram, at Mermaid on Tap. <laughs> what is with these people with like oh, two wow. names? Yeah, interesting names. But uh, at Mermaid on Tap on Instagram, uh, she likes to show off her bubs. <laughs> Nice bubs. Yeah. Ooh, what was the redhead word last time? Uh, last week? Yeah. I don't know. What, what was it? Week? Was it a redhead connotation? Uh, I know we went into a redhead or something. No. Never, la- I was, last, last week was happy play. cabbage. Yeah, happy cabbage. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. money. Yeah, yeah, that's money. Uh, I'd like to give her some of my happy cabbage. I was, when you said Philly, I was confused. I was thinking of Jimmy Rollins. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Not quite. Okay. Not quite. Yeah. I'm glad you cleared that yeah, up. No, no, yeah. No, no, no. No, no. Not Jimmy. Uh, Mermaid on Tap is the one you want to look for on, on Instagram. Is she still alive? By the I doubt yeah. it. He's pretty old. He's older than you even. Oh, my God. Not really. No one's that old. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so check out at Mermaid on Tap. She's a... Uh, a choice bit of calico. Oh, the link. <laughs> oh, that was Mike's best Good try. Yeah. Never get At least you tried, enough. man. I <laughs> heard that before. <laughs> a forever. Just a tip. Yeah, A forever. <laughs> Let's talk a little news. Extra, extra, fellas. It's news for you. 
Oh, news to talk about. Uh, the word of the year, according to Merriam's Webster whatever dictionary. Coctionary. Coctionary. Wait a minute. Surreal. Wow. Really? Surreal. I figured it would been like, oh, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> or something like that. Isn't surreal like next week's old-timey word? <laughs> <laughs> How'd you know? <laughs> look surreal. My, look at my uh, old-timey word list. Uh, yeah, surreal. Gotta I pull up my Salvador Dali. <laughs> So real. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Where's Dan when you need him? <laughs> uh, That's right. Hope you do. <laughs> <laughs> Cascade Brewing has signed a uh, deal with Day One Distribution in Oregon, so hopefully we'll be getting some Cascade Brewing oh, down okay. here. Mike's phone is farting. My apologies for that. Mm, you should be sorry. Sad news. Th- this is so good. New Holland Brewing Company and Pabst Brewing Company announced craft beer what? partnership. Wow, Ooh, who'd ever partner with Paps? Unless well, to make them better. How do you call Hopefully. that a craft beer partnership? Yeah, yeah, Paps is not craft. That's a shit beer partnership. <laughs> <laughs> that is awful. Paps. Yeah, Paps. Uh, that's Went for my Paps smear this week. Oh, hey, man. Mm. It's interesting because we talked about this, I don't know, probably a month or so ago. The head of Paps is a part owner in like the Not Your Father's line. And so now Pabst is distributing the Not Your Father's, you know, like Not Your Father's root oh, beer yeah, yeah, yeah. and right. soda. They're, they're trying to be cool. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, almost. Back to back right there. Yeah, almost. Oh, man. Um, yeah, I, I, how can you call that a craft beer partnership? When it, it, That's like saying like Bud Light and Miller are in a craft beer <laughs> partnership. Yeah, that's theft of the word craft right there. Mm-hmm. 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 Adam Carolla is going to create a show <laughs> where he comes into beer company and says, you can't use the word craft. I should create that show. Mm-hmm. We could do that. That's true. Yeah, we should. You should. You should. You should, Greg. It'd be our most listened to podcast because it'd be all of eight seconds. It'd be like, <laughs> hi, welcome to Miller. How can we help you? <laughs> You're, You're not, not craft cra- beer. <laughs> I don't care how many you buy. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't make you craft. And then we just end the show right there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Maybe and get a little audio of security kicking me out or something. You've been crafting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're not craft beer. Sir, we're going to need to ask you to leave. <laughs> what I'm going to need you to do for me right now is turn around right now. Right now. Turn around. <laughs> Walk out those doors right now for right me right now. now. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everybody. You know, I just realized, you know, uh, Parks and Rec has treat yourself. Treat yourself. You should have craft yourself oh, segment. That's right. Create man. a new segment for you. I like Do what, that. I mean, wow. make it whatever you want, but that's what it's called. Craft yourself. Write that I'm gonna, down. I'm writing that down. That's such a good idea. That's it's a like, good idea. hey, if you got a few extra bucks to spend, you should craft yourself with some sticky monkey. You yeah. know, I said that drinking Lupin number two, so maybe it is my favorite beer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's my favorite. It's very good right now. Luponic D. Dan never thought of stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I've got the black lung. Thanks, Zoolander. <laughs> boop boop be doop. <laughs> I like that because you know, like stuff Crash like yourself. Because like stuff like Sticky Monkey or uh, Sukuba or Sukaba, excuse me. You know those higher line uh, Firestone beers or mm-hmm. some of the fancy um, those are arrogant special bastards. Treats. I mean, those are between eight, you know, sixteen and twenty five dollars a bottle. That's right. That's not an everyday beer. No. Unless that's a craft yourself really, beer. That's yeah. a craft yourself. I like Or if the next morning it could be crap yourself beer. <laughs> yeah. That's after all the chili I made. <laughs> <laughs> we had a lot of chili tonight. It's uh, good stuff. Though. No good beans, though, so we're, be, we're going to be good. Yeah, yeah, we'll be okay. Oh, right. we'll, maybe some heartburn, so. but... Yeah. And some crap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Luponic D is not the only number two we'll be having. <laughs> 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 good night, everybody. <laughs> or the only D we'll be having. Yeah, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Uh, God, I liked it a lot. We're going to do a craft yourself segment. I even wrote it down on this piece of paper. I saw that. Yeah. If, uh, you know you do well when you when Greg writes you it down. paper and a pen. Yeah. So I'm too drunk wow. to remember. Right. Right. Yeah. You know what that means? That means you can come back next year. <laughs> next, <laughs> my next permission <laughs> slip. <laughs> i got to yeah. get signed first. Yeah. Come back for the next New Year's show. <laughs> yeah, right? that's right. Yeah. Well, Mike asked his uh, lady friend uh, if he could have permission to come over, and she said, do you, do you want to go do the podcast, or do you want your hall pass? And he said podcast. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He could have had sex with uh, any man he wanted to, but he chose to come over to the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> with either hand. <laughs> he could have chosen That's a right. hand. Tonight. That's right. <laughs> he could have had a little stranger danger. <laughs> he chose podcast. Where were we? Oh, Missouri. That's where we were. Missouri's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> Speaking of hand sex. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. More like misery. Segment yeah. guy Adam is, is from Missouri. He is. Missouri. Miss Adam, it's been a while since we've Show me state. Yeah. 
Please don't. Um, Missouri's Urban Chestnut Brewing Chestnut Brewing Company. Chestnut just sounds Chestnut. delicious. Chestnut. <laughs> yeah. It just sounds delicious. Yeah. Which part do you want to be? <laughs> chest or the nut? Do I want to be the nut on the chest or the chest with the nut? Mm. It's cold, so I'll you take the chest with the nut. Did you say, oh, my God? <laughs> <I> said, oh, <laughs> like, try to say, oh, my God. She's the master <laughs> over here. The master. Uh, anyways, Urban Chestnut Brewing Company out of Missouri. I wonder if Adam's anywhere near these people. Open up a new place called Urban Research Brewery. Mm. What you do is you go and you, you buy a flight of tasters for like a, a buck or so a piece, and then you get to vote on what your favorite beer is, and then uh, based on what the people have voted, that's what they put into mass production. Wow. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever is good is what gets produced, not uh, whatever some guy behind a counter thinks is good. No, we're getting like real people who Olé. love beer telling Olé. us Olé. what they want, and we're going to get Legend. the best beer from this shit. <laughs> yeah. This is crowdsourcing beer. Unless, because they are they are in Missouri. Oh. A bunch of Budweiser true. fans come yeah. in. Yeah. Where's the light shit? Yeah, I some bush fuckers over there. Yeah. This, here's, <laughs> this here's too dark right here. <laughs> yeah. Sir, that is a pale ale. <laughs> I know it is too. D- My redneck turned into Hugh Hauser. <laughs> it's dark in here. Yeah, I, was gonna, I thought you were intentionally doing it's that. It's dark in there. That was not intentional. <laughs> I always go to Hugh when I turn redneck. <laughs> cool idea, but how about you put it somewhere where people know about their beer? That's true. Like in California. On the 101. Yeah. El Camino <laughs> Throw back to last episode. El Camino Unreal last week. It was so good. Adam's going to give a shit for talking shit. No, Adam's Adam's a, a good beer man. Yeah. He's an all right. He's not man. a real Missourian. He's good at, at least our, uh, our version of what a Missourian is. He's good at building underground bars. If only he'd finish off his bar tip set. Yeah, that's, that's true. Right. Yeah. Can we get that last bar tip? But yeah. just the tip. Yeah, just the tip, please. <laughs> Wow, this show is taking a turn. <laughs> Sad news in uh, beer sales news. I said news too many times. <laughs> Modelo Especial and Stella Artois are the fastest growing beer brands. What? Wow. What is wrong oh with people? Oh, my God. Wow. Don't they know that Stella just tastes like Budweiser now? <laughs> well, it's because Stella Artois and Modelo sound cool. I and they're in that. every fucking store. That's what it comes down to. I guess. Like, if people were cool and realized that Luponic Distortion is, like, one of the best beer names of all time, they'd be into that, and Firestone would be rocking it everywhere. Mm-hmm. They'd be the fastest growing. Firestone is pretty fucking They're getting pretty big. I mean, that you last, like, two weeks ago, you announced that they're going worldwide or nationwide, Mr. Right? Worldwide. <laughs> <It's a pit laughs> they're going nationwide. Yeah. They're crafting everybody. That's Stone. That was Stone that's going Oh, nationwide. it's Stone. Yeah. That's right. I love Stone, though. Stone's good. Love Stone. I love Firestone. But, I mean, we love Firestone because it's it's local, man. Yeah. Ish. That was local as Stone. Sure. Local, local enough. Yeah. You yeah. just like it because they have one called 805 and that's your area code. That's true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, well, they just have really good beers. They do. I love Stone. I love Firestone. They I love with, beer. Yeah. I mean, some that they retired last year. Yeah, unfortunately, I, I know. I'm glad we had it before the year was up. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, so best beers of 26. It, it's the end of the year. We got to do some like best of lists. Of course, what's better than oh, a best yeah. beer of 2016? It's got to be beer because of the show, right? This is a uh, according to beerandbrewing.com. Best beers of 2016. They have like 50 on here. I'm just gonna do the top 15 because uh, I'm too drunk to read all that. 15 <laughs> Stone IPA. 14 The Alchemist Heady Topper. I think the beer girl talked about that one. Oh. Heady Topper. Uh, number 13, Deschutes Fresh Squeeze IPA. I've had that. It is delicious. Sounds good. It's good. It's really good. It's a lot like uh, Luponic D number four. It's got that tropical Ooh, note to it. I like that. A little juicier, though. Um, where were we? Number 12, Three Floyd's Zombie Dust Pale Ale. 11, Stone Enjoy By IPA. I had the Christmas, the Enjoy oh. By 1225. The Enjoy By? That was yeah. a good one. Well, yeah. You had that last year for our for- former show. You had a Best Buy type you- of beer. Is enjoy by? I don't know if it was enjoy by. It had to have been. They put yeah, it out. It in, yeah, they, they do them every few months. Yeah, yeah. like every like, like a, every quarter. I remember drinking or one. I yeah. think we were a day late, but it was still pretty damn. Probably good. yeah. Oh, I had the twelve twenty five for this year about a week ago. It was delicious. Good. Uh, Founders breakfast stout. I really want to try that. Brasserie Dupont saison Dupont. Number eight, New Belgium fat tire. <laughs> What? what? <laughs> this is weird. Yeah. You just want that breakfast out because you want a reason to drink at breakfast. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. I really don't need one. Is that the one that has like <laughs> the syrup taste to it though? Yeah, it's like okay. bacon and syrup. Right. I got to get me some of that. Yeah, I talked about that a couple weeks yeah, ago. If yeah, you, if you get that, give me some of that too. I, like if I can, yeah, if I, <laughs> I find it. Oh. 
Keep wow. Breakfast style. Wow. I can turn off his mic anytime. <laughs> Somebody just say the word. Uh, word. Number, <laughs> number I'm seven. Sexy bad. <laughs> Founders All Day IPA. Six left All hand. All day. <laughs> left hand milk stout nitro five boulevard tank seven farmhouse ale what four the five does just doesn't sound as good though i do want to try it just because the name's kind of crazy tank seven farmhouse uh, ale yeah it's, it's like, gonna be a saison mm-hmm. uh here's what i'm very sad to see even more sad than fat tire number four ballast point sculpin ipa what oh, wow. uh, Boop, 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 do. Yeah, you're, <laughs> you're not a local anymore. You're like a worldwide thing. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, way to be owned by like Budweiser. Get out of here. You okay. sold out. This yeah. surprised me. Number three, Russian River Pliny you the sp- Elder. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, number yes. two, this is even worse. Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. Really? It's so overrated. It's so overrated. It's so overrated. Like, wow. I, I listened to the podcast. Uh, I don't listen to it anymore, but at the time, like three years ago, it was- uh, Stone Cold? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't go DT. I showed my dad that he likes his couple uh, weeks ago. Sierra cool. Nevada IPA. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he talked about it, and then I listened to um, like some podcast that also talked about beers, and they said Sierra Nevada was their favorite. I brought it to one of your birthday parties, and I was underwhelmed. Just regular Sierra Nevada? Yeah. Pale no, no, the IPA. Oh, yeah. It's fine. It's fine. It's a little too floral but for it's, my flavor. It's no luponic distortion, no, no, man. No. And this isn't even the IPA. It's the pale ale. Yeah. And like, it's I regular was, Sierra Nevada. And I was a noob with IPA at that point, and I could tell it wasn't a great IPA. Yeah. It, th- their IPA tastes like flowers to me. I mean, I'll drink it and I'll get drunk, and it's better than a Budweiser, Budweiser but <laughs> it's <laughs> better than a Budweiser. <laughs> <laughs> I got a Budweiser over here. It's better than a butt wipe? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing that, that a lot lately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as a kid too. Yeah. <laughs> so he wipes his butt. Mm-hmm. Final, final decision. I've oh, drank these uh, beers oh, back to back. To this. Oh, I am. It's number two for officially. Number this two. is like Dan number with the uh, spicy peppers. <laughs> 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 Forty minutes later, I guess it's not that spicy anymore. <laughs> Speaking of which, Chuck Avesa sounds so good. The uh, I got one the in ice the fridge. cream. Yeah, I got some. I don't. I don't know if I could handle it any more than if this. you can handle it after this. We'll uh, we'll crack it open. Maybe maybe like cream. a scoop or something. Yeah, we'll have a scoop and we'll have a, like a, a splash, like a splash and a scoop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. And uh, number yeah. one, and a Yule log, please. Yeah, <laughs> number one best beer of 2016, <laughs> Bell's Brewery Two Hearted IPA. Never heard of it. Never heard yeah. of it. Yeah. But it's number one. We gotta we gotta find that shit. Mm-hmm. Right? Didn't I'm JR saying we have that. What? Didn't JR have that? JR. No, I have barbecue oh, sauce. No, that's, that's Bell's policy. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh, man. oh Sorry. no. Why not tie that together? Oh, no. <laughs> I wondered where that was going. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, 2016 <laughs> wishlist beers. Beers. Top, top five wishlist beers. West Velverton XII, Three Floyd's Dark Lord, The Alchemist Hetty Topper, once again. Again. Huh? Number two, Russian River Pliny the Younger. Number one, Russian River Pliny the Elder. Hmm. hmm. Mm-hmm. See, how can I take these lists seriously when Luponic is nowhere to be found? Well, I think it's easier to find. That's true. That's the problem. But I mean, if you're a uh, real beer connoisseur... Like you, Greg. Mm-hmm. Oh, I am. Thanks. I'm giving it up to you. The, the amount of beers He's giving you have you. put <laughs> your liver time. through the last few months yeah. because of this show, I am impressed. My liver is telling me no, but my body is telling <laughs> yes. me yes. I mean, you you do that diet just so you can drink as many beers That's as right. you want, right? Mm-hmm. It's the only diet I've lost I'm weight impressed. on while still drinking a lot of beer. I'm impressed, and I will go to you Ooh. before these fuckers anytime. Mm. So well, I will tell you. That I right. think you should put together a list well, for let, next week, the first oh of the God. year list for Greg. What your favorite beers are? I'll be too drunk for that. <laughs> but I will. But I will tell you <laughs> that on this list of wishlist beers, number thirteen is Russian River Blind Pig IPA. Mm-hmm. I think that should be much higher than either Pliny's. Oh, okay, Blind Pig. Go. Yeah, yeah. If you had it. Yeah. Oh, God. So good. That's good shit. People shit themselves over Pliny because there's been a hoopla made about Pliny. Right. But Blind Pig is wow. far and away a better beer than either Pliny, in my humble opinion. I mean, I like I said, I go with you. And you remember when we were in uh, San Jose? Uh-oh. Mm, my butt still year, remembers. <laughs> almost two years ago. <laughs> yeah. You told me what to drink and when, and I just did it, and that was a great night. And you got drunk. Yeah. Yeah. We had a fireball mixed in there. It was perfect timing. Perfect timing with the fireball. Do we have fireball? Yeah, you, you, <laughs> we like we went to the remember, sex move or remember, drink. Remember, we were at a bar. We had some uh, we had some Rasputin. We got pretty mm. hammered because it was pretty heavy beer, 
And then we and walked like down to a club that had a bunch of uh, music going. Oh, that's right. And then we, and we, we, we took beer. a shot of Fireball, and then we had, I forget what kind they of beer. They had shitty beer there, mm-hmm. so we were taking shots. But <laughs> it was the perfect timing for a Fireball. So ever since then, I'm like, She's Greg there? is the guy to go to for anything liquor. That's right. I mean... Liquor and poker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got them both covered. So I, I want to see your list. <laughs> I right. really do. I know... Maybe maybe I can be persuaded. I think so. I think yeah, you drank stream, enough... Stream your list yeah. after I leave. <laughs> Zip. One last thing. It's a I long just, list. I just think you've drank enough beers this past year to be the man to put together a better list than this. Well, you know, to be the man. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> you got to beat the man. These are going to be our lowest downloaded shows ever. <laughs> no way. This week and last week. <laughs> Just like the old They're going to see why Charity Shake was a hit. <laughs> they be begging for Dan. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Boo, boo, ba doo. <laughs> Sorry, too busy watching Santa Slay. <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? <laughs> uh, Mike just spit up his beer. No, uh, no, if, no, I'm good. If you can only drink one beer for the rest of your life, top five. Number five, Founders All, Di- All Day IPA. Four, Russian River Pliny the Elder. Three, Bell's Two Hearted IPA. Number two. Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. <laughs> what? Who said, hey, man, if you can only really drink one beer for the rest of your life, what's it going to be? How? Why did so many people say Sierra Nevada Pale Ale? Listen, I drank between last week's show and this week's show, I've drank, what, four beers that are better than Sierra At Nevada's least. IPA. Mm-hmm. Who the fuck's palate is stupid enough to think that that's a great beer? That's what I want to know. Yeah, it's horrible. And then the number one choice, and this is a cop out. My home brew. What? Jesus Christ. Shut up. I drink my own stuff. <laughs> like, wait, is that just like a generic home brew of beer? No, like their own beer that they brew. Oh, the, yeah. the company. Uh, if you could drink only one brewery for the rest of your life, top 10. Number 10, my home brew. <laughs> Number nine, Bell's Brewery. Number eight, Boston Beer Co. Number seven, New Belgium. Come on, guys. Number six, this should be higher, Firestone Walker. Yes. Number five, Russian River. That could be a little higher. Number four, Founders. Number three, Dogfish Head. I would trade that with Firestone. Number two, Sierra Nevada. (laughs) And number one, Stone. So we should say the Firestone should be number two and Stone number one, right? I mean, yeah. I mean, those two are, are pretty tied in my book. Russian River is really yeah. good. I know people in in the East Coast have not had Firestone, but every fucking beer I've had from them, delicious. Yeah, yeah. number seventeen on that list is Deschutes. I would move them a little oh, higher wow. than seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah, what's wrong with you people? Seriously, who are they had, asking? Have you never had a Black Butte before? Wow, it's a bunch of people from Missouri. Probably like you should just shoot them. Dairy in the face. farmers of America. Or something. <laughs> yeah, we we drink milk. <laughs> 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 I just milked my bull. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, dear. Anyways. Um, he likes it on the chest, apparently. Mm-hmm. <laughs> who doesn't? Uh, all right. So this one is the favorite, or who, excuse me, who brews it best list. I'm not even going to to Saison's. No one really likes Saison's that much. Hipsters like Saison's because normal people don't like Because they Saison. got there first. Right. Well, I got there first with my stupid mustache. Favorite stout reporter, number five, Deschutes. There we go. Now we're talking. Number four, Goose Island. That is crap. I, I Listen, do not I'm like going to go Island. with you on it, whatever you say. I, I agree I like with you. Goose Island. Really? Yeah. Not a fan. Really? Not. I, to be fair. It's not my favorite, but I like I've it. never had their stout or porter, but uh, everything I have had, not a fan. Hmm. Number three, left hand. Number two, Guinness. Number one. Guinness? Yeah, number one, Founders. I prefer the right hand, but left hand's not bad. Yeah. Guinness, really? What is it? What was that category again? This is the favorite stout or stout or porter brewer. Like, mm-hmm. is that just default? They say Guinness because it's a big name? Because like, they know it. That You know what that it's is? It's not quite a- That's like people a, who don't like dark beers going, uh, Guinness? I don't even- See, I, I'm not a huge fan of dark beer because of Guinness, but then when I drink Rasputin or what we had last week, what was that? The uh, El Camino- Unreal. Unreal, yeah. <laughs> Delicious. I mean, it was, that was a black IPA, not quite a stout or a porter. Delicious. But yes. Compared to a Guinness, I'd take those any day. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I'm not even a beer connoisseur like you. Mm, connoisseur. <laughs> it's connoisseur. It's French. It's French. <laughs> sorry. Uh, favorite pale ale brewer. Number five, Firestone. Let's move that up a little higher. Number sorry, four, sorry. Deschutes. Number three, Three Floyds. Number two, Finally, Oscar Blues. They do good stuff. Never heard of it. You got to give me some. Dude, oh. I got- Dude they're all over wow. like TJ's and Total Wine. What's wrong with me? I, got- need, to, I need to get my beer game I've up. I've been asking that for years. <laughs> yeah. I know. I mean, Midlife knows more beer His than His name me. is Scott. Thank you. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> we got to go on a shopping spree. I'm you passing it. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree. Uh, and number one, ready to get mad? 
Sierra Nevada. <laughs> wow. Uh, favorite IPA brewer. Let me just let me just start this off. Firestone is number nine. It's got to be number one. Number nine. It's got the best IPAs in the world. Number nine. I would actually put them at number two? IPA three. Behind who? I like I like one and two on this list. Okay. So so here we we'll go. Number listen. five, Ballast Point. That should not be on the list. Number no, because you sold out. That's right. <laughs> number four, Bells. Number three, Dogfish Head. Yeah. Number two, Russian River. And number one, never, Stone. Never had the Russian River. That's Pliny. <laughs> and, and Blind Pig. Donald Trump sure has had the Russian River lately. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All up in his butt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Favorite lager brewer. Number five, Great Lakes. Number four, Brooklyn Brewery. Number three, Yingling. You guys ever had Yingling? No. It's You're good. asking me. For the, like, I like to stick I know to Firestone because I, I know I, I like it. I've asked Scott before. That it's mainly an East Coast brew. Yeah. It's I pretty figure. It's pretty good. Uh, number two, Jack Sabby. Number one, Sam Adams. Uh-huh. What? Yeah. I mean, their seasonals are fucking fantastic. But, but they're Baston Laga. The regular Sam Adams. Were they asking this like on the East Coast? It had to have been. I think they were asking this in a mental facility. They like Maybe. went into yeah, just like a regular bar and asked. They're like, Sam Adams. Right. That's they all I mean, order, East right? Coast yeah. is really popular. I think they went into a bar in like the middle of Arkansas. Like, <laughs> what can everybody afford here? <laughs> oh, Sam Adams! <laughs> but I'm wondering, like, why does the East Coast get such bias when the West Coast has been proven lately, the last like five years, to put out the best beers? I don't know. Especially the IPAs. I mean, you know. Oh, I know. California's got the shit. Uh, the shit is bananas. I mean, we, we got wine <laughs> and we got beer. That's about it. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's, uh, it's unfortunate. I don't know what's wrong with people here. But or not here, but there. But uh, there's your list. Here, there, and everywhere. Here, there, and everywhere. All right, that's that's enough bitching about beers. <laughs> I think we sh- for the New Year's we should start things off right. We should do a little tales from Uber. Does your cabbie make you queasy? <laughs> it's tales from Uber. Mike's making noises. It looked like he forgot what his tail was oh, for a second there. My neck. He's stretching. Okay. stretching. He's old. Uh, no, I, I, this is this is a very a really quick one. It's what I always tell my wife anyway. Mm-hmm. Uh, this one's called the Family of Four. This is I would just drop somebody off at LAX and I got another call to pick somebody up. When I got to the people's house in my little Prius, mm-hmm. by the way. Yeah, his is a what C. So it's C, not a Prius even, C. It's not quite so a Prius. A, a guy comes out. And it's a guy and his wife and their two kids. Okay. They're going to LAX. They're taking a vacation. And out comes the luggage. Uh-oh. They had like four huge pieces of luggage. <laughs> they know you luggage. have no trunk, right? And no trunk. <laughs> and so the guy tells me, he goes, we can't put this in your car. I yeah, go, no shit. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, you're right. I said, I'm sorry. Why don't you guys call somebody else? Then his wife comes out and he goes, we can't fit all this in the car. The wife says, oh, we have to. We're late. We have to get this in the car because we got to get to LAX right away. All yeah, right, and I'm like, okay. So she just like takes over. <laughs> he, he, oh, almost good know, try, that good scene, try, man. It faded good try. into a regular. St- Him and I just kind of backed up, and she just like she's throwing things luggage here. She's throwing luggage there. She gets Fucking the kids women. in the car. She puts the husband in the in the front seat. The seats all the she way. She like up lifted him up the, and threw him in there. Yes, <laughs> holy shit. Yes, <laughs> with the with the luggage. Take and he's up charge. there. He's like. His feet are, are against the dash. <laughs> oh, 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 damn it. Uh, that was pretty good. That was better than me. It's her and the two kids and three pieces of luggage in the back seat, plus luggage in the like little hatchback area back in the back. Right. And so we head off to LAX like this. And the, the guy who was a bitch the whole way. Shocking. It, yeah. Every every little bump or every little corner would take, he'd go, oh, my knees. Seriously? Oh, yes, I'm oh, serious. Oh, God. And then we, yeah, we, and so I, I got the family of four with all those huge ass pieces of luggage to LAX. And the huge tip that they gave me, yeah, get a better job, zero, yeah, yeah, get a bigger what? car, yeah, uh-huh. yeah. Do you feel like Chevy Chase? I mean, here's the thing <laughs> when, when you pick an Uber, you see what kind of car it is, so yes. it's their fault. They should know, they yes, should have exactly. known. Well, if you got a shit ton of luggage, you get an Uber XL, right. yes, yeah. It's easy. Or I mean, if you're really drunk and you're like me, <laughs> <laughs> you accidentally get an Uber XL. Wrong car. And then you wonder why your tab was double the price next morning. I mean, I got I happened? got one, you know. Did I get a while double back, time? It was like three Asian ladies with like 50 pieces of luggage. And when I got there. It would fit and I, perfectly. 
<laughs> I told them I can do it, but you guys are gonna be really uncomfortable. And they're yeah. like, "No, we'll you know get a bigger car." Yeah. So they were surprised smart. they didn't like Tetris that shit in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, Asians are smart. They are and stuff like that. Much yeah. smarter than us. Yeah. 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 They figured it out for them. They did yeah. the math. They, 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 they did. did. They, yeah. I said, "Oh, let me get my oh, wow. my little was, calculator." The yeah. yeah. square root of the hypotenuse. Yeah. Oh <laughs> what? Square root of hypotenuse. Okay. What's Anyways, hypotenuse. Yeah. <laughs> got to do it. Hip hop. Hip hop anonymous. <laughs> Anyways, I think that's it. We should, yeah, we should we, close things up. Yeah, I want to uh, be cheesy for a second. Oh wow! And thank everybody. That's kind of cheesy. I want to thank Scott over here. Hey, you're welcome. For uh, you know, it's been uh, it's been uh, almost six months now. For episode twenty four, four, yes, twenty four. Oh, I yeah. looked down at my paper here. Twenty four. Uh, it's been going well. The people have been uh, enjoying us. So uh, I think Mike just threw up a little bit. So thank you guys for listening. Thank you to uh, the crew here. Thank you for Mike for filling in. Uh, I'd like to say nicely, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> for Dan, I had opinions. Yeah. Thank you for you making say the that. fans yeah. miss Dan even more. Than <laughs> yeah. That's right. Thank you for making the previous and next shows more downloaded. I have made more <laughs> Raiders fans today than there ever were before. Yeah. Uh, thank you for filling in and having opinions. Thank you to Dan even, even though he didn't show up. For a couple weeks, he, uh, he did text me, and he was sad that he couldn't show up the last two weeks to see me. So right, and uh, he also is going to be sad he missed all his delicious beer last couple weeks. That's true. He didn't get the number four. That's right. That's right. Uh, <laughs> boop boop boop. <laughs> uh, thank you to Beer Girl. Thank you to uh, Elvia, the shitty oh, local. Nice. Even to Adam, who I uh, haven't heard from in a few weeks. Yeah. I think he died actually. Yeah, I think he died. Yep, some probably spilt in this bar or threw mm-hmm, up or something. Mm-hmm. So thank you to all you guys who have made the show good. Thank you to everyone who's listened so far. Thanks especially to everyone who's told a friend about the show and, and passed it. Oh, and thank you to James for uh, a few weeks ago bringing oh, us yeah. some beer. Yeah, He's, He swears he's got an IPA for us to try. So I'm uh, ready. We'll make sure Mike's not here for that one. <laughs> <laughs> I love IPA. Right. I know. I'm bringing sexy back. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Luckily, it was never there for you, so uh, <laughs> nothing to bring back. Bringing sexy back for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to bring sexy. Uh, so anyways, thank you guys so much. I, uh, I appreciate it. We all appreciate it. We, we love hanging out with you guys. Don't forget, I announced it last show, but uh, doing a coaster giveaway. Oh, I hope I get oh, one of those. <laughs> You don't. I don't qualify. No, Son you're, of a bitch. you're unqualified. Uh, if you guys <laughs> want a coaster, it's super easy. All you gotta do is is give us something to talk about on the show, whether it's a tales from Uber or some beer news or or something of that sort. Something for crotch talk. S- send it our I way. I brought craft yourself. I think I deserve a coaster for that shit. Yeah. You All know. right. Fine. You get <laughs> a coaster <laughs> for craft. Give you a yes. coaster. I'll take it on filter, gentlemen. I Give us that. your uh, Uber stories because uh, mine are kind of boring. Right. Yeah. yeah. You suck. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so thank you to everybody. Uh, don't forget to check us out at theunfilteredgentleman.com. Facebook, it's Unfiltered Gentleman. Instagram, the Unfiltered Gentleman. Give us a follow over there. Lots of beer pictures. Twitter, at Unfiltered Gents. Uh, our phone number is 805-538. Beer. Thank you, Vinny. Vinny. And uh, I'm going to go out on this one. We talked about it last week, how uh, for New Year's and Christmas on the old show, we used to do a lot of musics. While this show for New Year's, we didn't do a lot of musics. I think we're going to go out with the important one. This one always brings a tear. Oh, no. To mine and Scott's and and Dan's eyes. Oh, no, not that Not so much Mike. No, I love Chick. (sighs) Sorry, foreshadowing. Yeah. Spoiler alert. I love chicks. You're right. No, you do not. <laughs> you do not. Uh, anyways, this one uh, I wrote a couple years ago. My girlfriend sang it, and it still still is relevant and still brings a tear to the eyes. So uh, happy New Year's, everybody. Happy Festivus, and we will see you in 2017. Good night, everybody. Later. <laughs> Should all the Lakers be forgot and never brought to mind? Should all the losses be forgot, oh days?
season yet again old show time handled by Magic Johnson Magic gets to Kareem straddling the three point line they're picking the Lakers high pass under to Worthy and he slam dunks to be fouled by Oldham boy was that a sensational pass by Magic but what a thundering left hand slam 93 to 70. This game's in the Admiral refrigerator. The door is closed. The lights out. Butter's getting hard. The eggs are cooling, and the Jello is jiggling. Been jiggling for a long time.